Letter containing an imaginary scene. Fernando's Valeridus. It disturbs me the way the landscape of my mind may be characterized by saying it regularly transforms itself from pale green fragrant 14th century Chinese wash on silk, lacking perspective, to Bosch and back again without my knowing. Yet how delightful when it causes me to discern the truth embedded in a single statement such as the following, i.e., that the life of the Holy Spirit is easily incarnated into a single cell. I used to know the rules for writing poems, rhyme and write them in a foreign tongue. Speaking loosely, my poems were well understood, their intent was good, they looked like gibberish, but they were solid underneath, like the kitchen sink. They rose up as one bed of flowers, a set of tulips and roses and green, taller than I am. They were making themselves up, dressing, when one rose, looking down on the others with a smirk on her otherwise lovely face, caused a girl on a pinafore to cry out, Oh dear, then a woman too old to be in the picture cut off the play. Last night I got a message from outer space that said, Write poems. I threw the envelope in a, away in a heap and pressed the rest to my breast, pinning it to my imaginary bra like an old boyfriend. When I opened it up again, it read, Lost in Space. I saw stars. My eyes were X's. The thing we hang hooks from are not walls, but faded frescoes, a boat made of a shadow, old Roman crusades made of Tiffany lampshades. Swinging from the chain we break, go for broke, the joy comes out belly up through the zipper of our brain. Imaginary scene. The sea is made of cardboard and the shark. A slit is just a hole from which a shark embarks. A puppet on a stick. A fin, a moving finger writ, an ever-present tense. So clear, your leaves form in the bottom of the tea. Your face is ancient like a laughing mask. Your skin mounts the cracks, eyes disappearing into black. You take me back into the opening. It's dark and the creatures pour out warm. I'm one in human form. 